Good morning team. Good morning everyone. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great day and I hope you're doing fine. So I, w I wasn't really planning on doing a Overwatch video today but yesterday's event made me want to do this. Um, it's a way for me to remember things. It's a way for me to try to get better and the biggest problem that happened to me yesterday is that I got frustrated. <laughs> I got angry. And the result, after, you know, stopping playing and, um, you know, weighing on things, is that I lost more than I won. Usually I win more than I lose. And when I win, I'm usually calm, I'm usually having a good day, and even when I lose, it doesn't really affect me. But yesterday I wasn't really exactly having a good day and I started playing and as I started playing, it was on my main account of course, uh, as I started playing, well things did not go the way it should go. Um, there's a little bit of a story by myself because before we get into the match itself. Um, I don't know, maybe you think them always have been a nice or a calm collected person but not really. Not that long ago, I was still a toxic person. Now, I wasn't the type that would throw the game. I was not the type that would go AFK in spawn and just ruin a game. I was not the type that would feed the enemy team in games like League of Legends, for example. But I was the type that would get into arguments. I was the type that would insult others. I was the type that will match flame with even more flame i know every curse word in the book and i am not afraid to use them or well, i was not afraid to use them now that was some years ago and playing competitive especially um especially in league of legends when i played against real pro gamers players from sk players from fanatic um you know we the pro gamers that were active at the scene at the time gave me a perspective a scope uh, so to say of who I was what was I doing and the vain nature of being angry and stupidly stupidly uh, doing things and you know just keeping the anger level up and not being calm, not realizing what I'm doing. So, here's what I did after I started playing with those guys. And let me describe to those of you, as I adjust the microphone, sorry if there's some uh, weird noise, let me describe for those of you who do not know what it feels like to play against a pro gamer. Um, and for that, for those of you who watched Dragon Ball Z, can understand this but in Dragon Ball Z there is this training chamber that the main character or other side characters go to to train it's called the gravity chamber or the pressure chamber and in it there's like an increase of gravity or pressure and you will be just struggling to try to stand up and a normal pers person would be crushed if they enter there that's the same thing that happened to me kind of of course figuratively, uh, that happened to me when I was playing against uh, these kind of pro gamers. Um, you feel this pressure. You think you're good. You reach a certain level in your play and you are really crushing other players. You are having an ease winning games, both competitive and normals. And normals is just a joke. You just destroy everything. You know how they work. And you start to get full of yourself. And with your toxic nature, you forget that there is always someone better than you, even in this very same level that you are in. So, I go and I play against these guys, and it's another level. It's just something else. I am immediately overrun. These guys know what is going on. They know their champion uh, in League of Legends, they know their cooldowns, they know your champion, they know your cooldowns, they will use your movement against you, they will be farming 
and harassing at the same time. It's something else. And I did the same recently with a top 500 friend of mine. And it's not the same. He will adapt. He will counter my strategies with a 1v1. Although a 1v1 does not immediately or describe the experience that I have or brings the full potential of a top 500 player because they are more team players than individual players. Uh, my background as a 1v1 player, because I, I did won some tournaments as a 1v1 player in many other games, league or uh, other FPS games, so I do have some slight advantages as, as I was younger. Anyway, what I was realizing is um, if he takes his main, I'll just lose. If he goes Widowmaker or McCree, I will just lose. I could not fly for two seconds as a Farah, because the moment he sees me, I'm dead. Now we are playing on this current platinum level or even diamond, as I am diamond. Um, we think that there's that Widowmaker, there's that McCree. It's not gonna happen in top 500. If you are aiming to reach there, if you are aiming to reach master, grandmaster or any other levels, you do not expect someone to miss more than two shots on you. Expect people to kill you if you make. Sorry about that. Uh, that was a burp. If you make a mistake twice. And you gotta be calm. You gotta be collected. You gotta be prepared mentally to do that. And you gotta switch your play. You know, uh, as I'm sitting uh, on this... Uh, you know, I'm, as I'm sitting on a spot that you're probably going to see on the gameplay later, on this map, uh, whereas the Widowmaker can just hook in and goes there, I will be headshotted before I realize or before I see her. So I've got to anticipate that and always be on a better position. Now, all those info will never happen if I'm being frustrated. So... Yesterday I forgot about these things, uh, you know, my day wasn't really great and I went to play Overwatch because I forgot that there is some sort of a decay on <laughs> my uh, SR on, when I reach Diamond and above. So I was like, okay, let me, let me go play some games uh, and reset that. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. And I immediately jump in into the EU server. And let's just say, uh, it was abysmal. Two games, uh, levers, toxic players, three games, uh, and it got into me. Usually, it doesn't really affect me, but since I wasn't really into the mindset of playing competitive, it was just something like I was forced to, well, I got frustrated. And you know what? I lost more than 100 SR yesterday, just because I kept playing and I wasn't really angry like I used to before like that is probably never gonna happen again but I was in a play with muscle memory kind of uh, mindset I wasn't trying to improve I wasn't trying to uh, you know look for the support to look for strategies to win I was just playing with muscle memory, replaying, 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 and I should have stopped after losing two or three games, but I continued. I won some, lost some, and at the end of the day I end up losing like 120 SR, which is fine by me to be honest. But as I finished and I was, you know, laying in bed, this came to me, like, if I wasn't frustrated, if I wasn't triggered by some things, like uh, in one of those games, the enemy team kept doing every wrong thing in the book. You see a Mercy using her gun instead of healing. You see a Mercy like supporting a very abysmal Widowmaker. And I kept fo focusing on those things. Those things triggered me. And every time they do this, they win a team fight. And instead of being calm, and analyzing the situation, I was angry. And not angry at the team. Again, that would never happen. Uh, it's a thing that I will always be angry at myself. As why 
on earth am I unable to kill the mercy? Why on earth am I unable to kill the Widowmaker? And you see, as I was focusing on that, I forgot. I forgot about the essence of the game. I forgot that I should be focusing on the targets. Why am I trying to dive a Widowmaker who isn't even in the action? Why am I focusing a Mercy that is stuck to her Widowmaker, because they are probably pre-made, and not helping my team on the payload, defending the payload, because Widowmaker alone is not going to do more, uh, you know, something if she's just been there. See, those things, those little details will make you lose a game. Or win a game, if you are Karma collected. And I was not. And I lost the game. And I lost another one. And I lost another one, and so on and so forth. See, this is the kind of things that you guys should always keep in mind. This is the kind of things that you should do. Sometimes you need to stop playing. Just stop. Sometimes that day, that particular day is not good for you. Now losing 50 SR is alright. But losing 100 or 200 or even more because I know some people lose more because they will keep playing. I, I have experiences in this domain. I will play 10, 20, 13 games in League of Legends which take much more time. I would be putting 13 hours in just losing. So, those are the things that you need to keep. Because sometimes you just need to stop playing. Sometimes you just need to do something else. Play another game. Change the mind. Remind yourself. And this is the most important aspect. Always remind yourself. Now, I do say things uh, in the team chat, and if, if I could, before I get to my point, if, if, if I could, I sadly I did not remember the names of uh, the people that I played against yesterday. And this is one of my tactics I do in order to, you know, remind myself and get better in general, is if I remember the names of the people I played yesterday, I should have sent them, each and every one of them, a message apologizing for not being on a level, apologizing for being or bringing a negative aura instead of a positive aura and all those aspects that will make the team lose. Your negativity will make the team lose. It will rub on other people, even if they're having a good day. Your negativity is gonna be impacting them. So you should always be positive, no matter what. And I wasn't, and I should apologize. Now, I will do it on this video, I will apologize, I, I say I am sorry for being that way. I, I, my objective, especially in Overwatch, is to bring as much positivity, as much positive thinking, as much calm and, you know, relaxed attitude as I can. I do not want to go back to that person who was always arguing with others. I do not want to go back to the person who insulted others, who did make mistakes or did not make mistakes, and so on and so forth. I always want to be myself, and always want to be bad, uh, not bad, uh, mean, to only me and myself, and in a positive way, not in a negative, you know, you suck or something. No, no you, should, you didn't do this, you should do that. You're not good at direct rockets, you need to practice that. You didn't use your ultimate correctly this day. You should think more about it, and so on and so forth. This is the type of things that I want to bring. I told you before, the last community I was playing with was the League of Legends community, and these past two seasons were the worst seasons I ever witnessed. The toxicity level is out of this planet. Everyone is frustrated, everyone is angry, everyone is flaming every single match. Whether it is placement matches, whether it is, you know, normal matches, you will rarely, extremely rarely, see someone just having a good day. There is no voice communication, you cannot talk with players, so you only can chat with players. You don't know what people are saying, you don't know what people are feeling, you cannot calm them. And it's just a cesspool of toxicity, a cesspool of negativity, and it would impact us in a bad way. You will be required to put a lot more and a lot longer time in getting to your target 
rank rather than just you know practicing and being better now thankfully overwatch is not like that thankfully right now overwatch is still in a good place sometimes you'd say some people are frustrated sometimes you get someone who insults you but it's things that are far-fetched they are not in every game sometimes you'll find someone who's not playing good but it doesn't matter it's all part of the game it's no problem at least in overwatch i can try to talk some sense in people it doesn't work every time but it still does and that's what i like about overwatch right now and being the one who's supposed to be calm being the one who's supposed to be the most experienced having long long years in competitive i should always be a how do i say it a guide how do i should always be the guy who knows what to say in a certain situation because i've been through this i've done this hundreds thousands of times yet i succumb right back into it and the result is losing games so yeah my method what's my method the, the going back to the point so i always have many objectives when i play games so winning or losing is not a factor gaining skill getting better doing things are what makes me lose win you know these things are good and these things will make me win if i do them correctly like i said hitting direct rockets with farah using my ultimate correctly positioning myself being aware of my team trying to communicate these are things i'm really lacking at and i'm trying to improve constantly uh you know and as i do those if i do them correctly i win if i do not do them correctly i lose if i can kill that valkyrie mercy at the correct time then it's a win for my team as a farah if i cannot do it then it will either make us you know win in a harder way or make us lose generally you know i want to use my ultimates in a better or more correctly so on so forth so if i see a game being lost matters not i have i still have many objectives i'm playing mccree for example i'm still improving my aim with mccree i'm still using to the right mouse settings so all those things i would do i would profit from the circumstances and just do those things well it's a lost game so what there's someone who disconnected again so what i have things to do this match this loss is not going to go to vain i'm not focused on those 25 points that i lost or 20 or whatever i am focused on getting better i am focused on skill i'm focused on learning the map and adapting to certain situations these are the things that will make me win if i am perfecting those things if i can do those things in every game and be consistent then winning is gonna come naturally you will start feeling that your current level is easy how can i even feel it you feel it in your body <laughs> in your hands that you can do this even if you lose the game you still think that you can do this that this current level that you are in is not a big deal you know why you lost you know why you you know why your team didn't perform well but you're like okay next game next game i'll do better next game i will win hopefully and so on and so forth and don't tell me no 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 i'm i'm better than my uh than this sr and i should be at a certain no 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 saying that automatically make you part of that problem you're not a solution if you are calm if you are trying to help your team and yourself winning that means you're not part of that uh, as I, that means you will be advancing or you should advance sooner that rather than later but if you are angry if you are frustrated if you are being cocky being arrogant thinking that you know you do not belong to this as 
then you are the problem and you should stay in the SR hack. You should even go down to rethink your strategy. Provided all this has some level of uh, randomness to it and some level of luck. My luck yesterday was not on my side, that's why I should have stopped. Sometimes there's nothing really you can do. You will just lose. Sometimes there's the AFKs, sometimes there's the people who are not having a good day, sometimes there are people who do not switch and contribute to the team losing. That's the luck based factor in winning. And to come to that, stop playing. I did not stop playing, I lost a lot. Losing a lot brings me back. And instead of advancing, now I have to go back from 2800 all the way to 30k and re go back, you know, reclaim the lost points and start at point one. Because for me, diamond is actually point one. I've reached diamond three seasons ago and now I want master. And if I keep swimming in the 28 to 2900, that means I'm not advancing at all. That means I need to change stuff and so on and so forth. And yeah, this brings me probably to the end of the video for me. It was kind of a diary style video. This is mostly for me and I hope it gives you some ideas on how to advance and how to get better at the game, but this was mostly for me to remind myself, mostly for me to get better, to get good in general, and try to improve upon my current self. So that's why I will, and I hope I will do more of these each time, so I can go back and watch them and remember and remind myself of the things I need to do. Plain ranked is like going to the gym. All of us can go to the gym. All of us can go lift weights there. But we can go there for months and months and we will not show any result because we are doing it wrong. But if you go there with the knowledge, if you go there and seek guidance and do the right things, lift the right weights and have the diet and be in the right mindset, then the results will show sooner rather than later. It's actually the same thing for Overwatch competitive. It's kind of the same thing. So with this metaphor, I will leave you guys. I hope you're having a great day as usual. I hope you are relaxed and I hope you go to play your ranked games in a positive mindset and keep working hard and eventually all of you fellas will reach your current objective. Until then, you have a great day, and I'll see you guys when I can. So bye-bye.